Good morning, guys. Try out some new stuff. It might not be a lot, but you know, that's what we're going to do. This week, I already started with my base on foundation, primer, and all that good stuff because none of that is new. For primer, I went in with my Fenty Beauty uh, primer because honestly, guys, I just don't feel like Fenty looks the same without it. I feel like these two, they were made to be used together, use them together. I just like them together. I finally, and I feel bad for just picking this up, but for a while, guys, I honestly was on a no makeup buy type thing. And this is the Shayla collaboration palette that she did with Maybelline. Very lightly, I'm not doing anything too much. I am wearing black today in honor of hashtag times up. This is the, um, the theme of last night's Golden Globes and I love it. I love the Sarah solidarity between women i loved it i loved it i loved it if you don't know why i did that they did that just and not just it's not just about sexual harassment allegations that's been coming out it was about being equal having equal pay equal opportunities as women just all women no particular color no particular size shape creed age just women time is up we want equal respect, we want equal pay, we want equal due, we want equal opportunities, you know. Um, Barbara Streisand came out last night and um, spoke a little bit about it and it was huge. So I'm going to go in real quick while I'm talking about this and I think I'm going to go in with that lighter color just to um, lighten up my brow bone just a little bit, nothing serious. And I'm just going to use one of my e.l.f. brushes to do that. I'm just going to go right in there. It's quite powdery, not crazy powdery, but enough. Oh, comes off a lot actually. So I just want to go in and just lighten this area up a little bit. But Barbara Streisand came out, who also received an award many in like 1984 for uh, a director's Golden Globe. And that was in the 80s. That is insane. You know, we have just so many women kicking pure ass right now and so but they're not getting nominated so we you know that's what the theme was about you know i i loved it because it wasn't about black women it wasn't about white women it was about women and us as sisters and you know we need to stop seeing these colors because the truth is men you know though i'm not going to say they don't see color at the same time they also see that you're a woman first so that's the problem. So, yeah. So the next color, so we need to do this. I loved that theme. The next color, I'm going to go in with a little bit of that. Very, very lightly. I'm going to use like one of my lightest um, blending crease brushes. Because I'm going to go in with that very, very lightly. You know, for the most part, I did miss Oprah's um, speech. I will be going back and watching it. Of course I will. But I heard it was everything and then some. Do y'all know that the hair that you saw was all Oprah's? If you're not following her on Instagram, I definitely suggest that you do. Um, I'm not mad at Oprah's uh, Instagram. I love how she shows us her raw face. I love how, you know, sometimes certain celebrities don't want to be seen without the cake. And I love that she's just not that. I think that's all I'm going to do on the lid. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to do much. And now I'm just going to throw on some lashes. I will be right back. Then we'll paint a plate in the black a little bit. Be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to go back into the palette. How about we do that? I'm going to go into that black. And I'm going to use this to mask my eyelash band even though it's really thin and almost invisible you can barely see it that uh, line and then i'm going to blend it up see so i know a lot of you guys still want an explanation for my absence pretty much november december and even when i did bring you guys a video it wasn't really my type of video so um you know, the bulk of what I, and I'm going to use this just to etch out a, um, a wing, not a severe wing. And basically guys, you know, just like everybody else, 
you have your trials and tribulations. Thank God, enough. It was. It's nothing like extremely serious or anything. I just. I think mentally, I just wasn't in a place to be myself with you guys. And I vow, I, I really, I really pride myself on being as authentic with you guys as possible. Like, I don't write scripts. You know, YouTubers write scripts. And I understand why they do it because a lot of times, like, they want to be as accurate as possible and not forget to give you guys any important information and though that is important and sometimes every once in a while I'll write notes but I'm not gonna write my words word for word I just I can't I <laughs> I can't guys you guys are not subscribers and followers you are my peoples and whatever I'm gonna say to you I guarantee you I'm gonna say it the same way I would if I was talking to Alicia for those who don't know, that is my best friend. My, the truth is, I just kind of needed that mental break. I really, really did. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I'm done with that. So I got these new concealers. I've had them for a minute. Never tried them. And they are by uh, Amazing Cosmetics. I have their Amazing Cosmetics Corrector and... Um, I'm sorry, Concealer and Corrector in Deep. I have their amazing concealer illuminate in deep golden and then i have their amazing concealer hydrate in deep golden and i also have their primer which i'm looking forward to trying i didn't try it today because i used fenty and in my opinion once again fenty just goes with fenty so this is their amazing cosmetics anti-aging face primer it's like a primer moisturizer definitely want to try that so I'm, I'm, I'm a little torn about which one of these concealers I'm about to work with, but I think I'm going to try her. Just because she says that she's a concealer corrector, so I want to see what that looks like. And let's see what that looks like. It is super thick. Try one from, I'm going to try my Elfie. I'm going to try my Elfie. Okay, so let me just blend this out in the back of my, oh my God, it's super thick. You know, thick concealers like to sink into fine lines. And if I don't have nothing, it is super. Oh, it smells horrible. It smells like burnt crayons. That's exactly like you take, go in your child's room, steal their crayons, and then burn them. And you'll know exactly what this smells like. The coverage is not bad, though. I, I give it that. The coverage is not bad. That's a blend out the outer edges. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender that I apply my foundation and just make sure that that's well blended. But I feel like it did a certain amount of correcting. I will say that it did do that. Um, I'm just going to go over it a little bit just to make, just to see if I can soak up. Notice I do not contour my nose anymore. You can see like right here, look. You can't tell me that already doesn't look contoured. Let me take the concealer up on my nose to do that. My nose is just naturally contoured. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm, like, trying to take it away. <laughs> it just don't go away. So that's a good example, guys. Don't do things to your face that you don't need. Take Spend some time really evaluating your face. Because a lot of it you probably don't even need. So it, once it blends, it doesn't look bad. Um... I'm not going to lie, it looks a little bit cakey. And when I say cakey, it, it's, it's just a really thick consistency. It's really thick, guys. It's really thick. But I do owe you guys an apology for my absence. Um, it was more mental for me. I really just needed to take a mental break. So I'm going to, I'm about to be disrespectful. Why not? I'm going to go in with the Illuminate Concealer. And I want to see if it's going to illuminate. Now... If I have to be honest, I feel like I know that underneath my eyes is going to be crazy today because I'm not trying a whole bunch of stuff. Even here, you can see that it's already, it looks watery, hydrated. So, we'll see. But this is the Amazing Concealer Illuminate. And I'm going to take this just up in here. That almost seems darker than the other one. I I can't say that that illuminate. No, actually, I don't like it. Actually, I feel like I like the other one. Well, I feel like out of the two, I like the other one. This illuminate 
Ilum illuminate. I don't know. Maybe I need to brush, you know, use the brush to blend out these concealers. These concealers, for me, is not really enjoying the whole beauty blender experience. Okay. So guess what I'm about to do, guys? I just picked up the new, um, and it's not new. It's new to me, but I'm just picking it up. The new Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powders. I picked it up in 25, 35, and 40. They did not have 30. I will go back and pick up the 30. I have tested these out, so it's not brand, brand new. Um, I have, well, let me say this. I've swatched them. 40 is, you know, it looks like it would be a perfect match, but no, for some reason, it, it's so much red under there, it almost looks purple. So I won't be using that. And then you have 25 and 35. I think I'm gonna go on with 35 today. So we'll see. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to not spill it. I'm gonna put a little bit. I don't like the packaging because it's super messy. You know who I think has the best um, packaging when it comes to loose powders? I'll cover FX just because it has like a lid over the powder so you can like close the powder off and then put the lid on i just think that's the best but this is the color i put some in the lid hopefully you can see that it def this definitely needs to be set don't walk outside like that that looks crazy it looks like my under eye is sweating and i'm just pushing in you guys know we do not bake over here we simply set and move on Right off the first, like this first instinct. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> that looks crazy smooth. Crazy smooth, guys. Wow. And I like this color. I like this color because it's not too yellow. It's not too red. It is just like... It's like the perfect color. When, is it a dupe for the Laura Mercier? Mm, I think we're reaching. It's nice and smooth, especially for a drugstore. I, I'm here for it. For every day, I'm especially here for it. Now, from CVS, which is where I got... No, this one I got from Ulta because CVS didn't have it. But it's cheaper at Ulta. Ulta is $7.99 at CVS. It was like $8.49. 50 cents is 50 cents. Y'all say what y'all want. It's still cheaper. But um, I'm not going to lie. I, I definitely recommend you guys go go try them. My goodness. That's, that is so smooth. That There's nothing cakey about that. That is... Wow. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Becca... Um, to bronze my face, I do not contour my face. Like, look, it like looks like I've been contoured already. So I don't contour, but I definitely add some light, some uh, depth back to my face. So I'm going to go in with my Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder. I'm going to use my Morphe M402 brush to apply. The truth is, guys, I was going through a little bit of depression. I was meant I was I know I was going through depression and nothing bad has happened you know I have an amazing husband good God it's one of my greatest blessings is my husband that's without question but um it blends out pretty good though um I was I was like a functioning depressed person I was just in a place of reflection and asking God you know what am I you know you know those questions that you ask you know what am I here for? And what do you want me to be doing? And he said, you doing what I want you to be doing. Just keep doing it. Regardless of numbers and stop looking at that, that nonsense. Stop looking at that. You know, just focus on what I have you to do and just do it. And do it well. Do it from your heart and I'll, I'll let me take care of the rest. So that's what we're doing. Palette here. And I'm looking at that one. I think I want to use it as a highlight. Highlight. Which is my Morphe. And I am not an affiliate of Morphe. I just have a lot of their brushes. 
Morphe M501. Huh. It gets the job done. You need to probably layer it to really. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that. Like if this is just an everyday, you're not doing anything crazy. That works. But this, remember, this is not meant to be a highlighter. But if, if the shadow works, use it. Going to anywhere that I would usually highlight, I'm using this eyeshadow. And um, it's, it's giving me my life. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. It's, it, it, it did what I needed it to do. Right? It did. However, I'm going to take this color right here. And I'm going to pop that into my inner tear duct. Let's see how that works out. And that's like a goldish green color almost. Well, I'm going to say it's, in the pan it looks, I'm seeing more green. And I even see green there. Some people would say golds, like a light, light, you know, like a light gold. I see more, a little bit more green, actually. But that works. My camera is acting crazy right now, so I just want to wrap up this video. So all I did was... So I applied the mascara to my bottom water, um, my bottom lashes, just okay. Um, I've used this before. I like it better on my top lashes than my lower lashes. So that's how I feel about that. As far as the powder, I think the powder is beautiful. I really, really like the powders. I would not use it to set my whole face today. I use my MAC Skin Finish um, to set my whole face, but I love it. For underneath the eyes on an everyday basis. Do I think it's a dupe for Laura Mercier? I'm going to say no. However, I do think I would use this way before I would lose Laura on a daily basis. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, the palette. The palette is really nice. What I would say is that um, it's not my color scheme. But I thought it was beautiful. I like the, the, the look that I accomplished today with it. I used four of the six shades in here. I used the black, this one, that one. No, I used five, actually. I used five shades out of this. The only color I didn't use was that one. And I would say it's a little powdery. I, I am finding that some of the black is coming off the bottom of my lash line. So it didn't do a great job with, like, sticking to my lash line. However, drugstore, Shayla, I'm here for it. Um, what else? Concealers. I tried these two today. I tried the Amazing Cosmetics Amaz um, Amazing Cosmetics Concealer Corrector. This is a hard, hard, hard no for me. And then I went on top of it, on top of it with the Amazing Concealer Illuminate. This is a hard pass for me personally. Um, for someone else, they're just too thick. They're too thick for me. The coverage actually wasn't bad. Super thick and a little bit too uh wet looking for me i like i like the coverage i like a creamy concealer with a matte finish because i don't want to look dewy this almost looks wet not even like a dewy finish it looks wet so i'm not a huge fan of that um the last thing that was new today is miss fenty baby and i still have that on and she is looking beautiful i am really really liking it i'm liking it the more i'm wearing it the more I'm liking it. It still accentuates my lines. That hasn't gone away. But I will have to say I definitely did not have to put my brush back in here to apply anything more. So I do believe that this is a one stroke application. Um, the pigmentation looks beautiful. I'm just surprised that they found that perfect formula that works on all skin tones. I haven't seen one person yet that was able that was not able to rock this. And I do not feel like I need a lip liner at all. So, so I'm really loving her. She's going to be a hard favorite this year. Because I'm feeling red lips lately. So you go right there. You, you stay right there. That's your new home. Welcome. Love her. So guys, so guys thank, thank you so you much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you like these kind of videos. I actually really had a good time just talking and chit-chatting a little bit. And um, trying new stuff. I'm here for it. And I love you guys so much for watching. You definitely want to click that bell right next to the subscribe button. Because it's, it's right next to each other. So you might as well just like click, click. 
like real quick click click go ahead and get that out the way so you be become a part of the notification squad and you are aware and notified every single time i upload a new video i love you guys so much and i will see you in the very next video Mwah. be sure to go absolutely everywhere and follow me as shalinda one and i'll see you later Mwah. love you guys bye